Greetings and salutations. Business hours are between not now and later. Please take a number and apply the gilded stick of bureaucracy whilst we sort through the paperwork to find, lose, and subsequently burn your application without ever having read it in the first place. We'll be at your house between 1 and 4 in the morning. Please have dogs sedated or job costs will double. Facilities must be usable and contain enough reading material to sustain large, odorous, non-attractive bricks on legs as they drain mud, dust, and what is likely the remains of your compost heap through your house and crush it into your carpets. If you have a complaint, it's on deaf ears. It's not that we aren't listening. Helen Keller is our secretary. It's an ethical thing. So, I've been putting off this vlog for the week. Uh, most of the week, actually. And it's the point where it's now Saturday and I can't put it off any longer. There's a word for this, it's in the title, which is good so I don't have to repeat myself because it's in the title. Anyway, as a small pick-me-up on this particular topic, a study showed that if you make little goals in series uh, that can be achieved, then you can overcome procrastination easier with minuscule work and less time wasted. Besides, wasted time is sweeter when there's nothing else to do. Finally, a balloon is an inflatable bag that can be filled with any number of gases or air. It was derived from the early forms in which an animal bladder was dried and then subsequently inflated with air, particularly pig's bladder. Another use of pig's bladder was that they would put it under the shirts uh, with a wooden shield behind it and street performers would slice it open, intestines would fall everywhere. It was very theatrical, they get money for it, it was very awesome. The rubber balloon was invented in 1824 by a nice chap named Michael Faraday. The hot air balloon itself is made airborne with either hot air or hydrogen helium and have been in use since the 18th century. They can be a good source of entertainment, sport, decoration, tourist attraction, also I'm told a romantic, mildly adventurous date, which people keep recommending me to try it. I'm not entirely sure if they mean it, oh, you should try this with somebody, or you should try this with me. Anyway, there's also a rather catchy tune by Our City concerning hot air balloons that I like that I will link here. And that's all from me, folks. I'm the Dark Lord Ducky. Have a nice day.